What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Tristan Sertes. Hope you all are having a wonderful, fantastic day. Thank you guys so much for tuning back into the channel for a brand new Call of Duty Modern Warfare video. And in today's video, guys, what I wanted to go over with you guys is the patch notes from day one and everything. The worldwide reveal. And, of course, this update, I believe, is supposed to be update 1.03. So, this is really, really awesome and everything like that. Now, the Reddit link to all the fixes and updates that, you know, obviously Infinity Ward has made will be in the description down below for you guys to kind of, like, look at and follow with me and everything like that. So, before we get into it, if you guys please do like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new, that'd be incredibly awesome. I'm going to have a ton of amazing content coming up for you guys here in the near future. So, just, of course, make sure to subscribe and as well turn on post notifications so you guys catch all those videos. And with that being said, guys, let's get to it. So, the first thing, guys, is like I said, this kind of, you know, this update helps with bug fixes, some feedback that the community has had since the beta, as well as some other things. So, the general fixes, first off, one of the biggest ones is spawning and core multiplayer. They adjusted the spawn logic to improve the quality, uh, you know, of where you spawn and everything. They've also added more spawns to increase, you know, like, options of where you end up spawning, which I think is really great that they're, you know, out the gate trying to make sure that the spawns are the best that they possibly can be. On top of that, guys, we ended up getting Ground War, which is just absolutely awesome. I believe that is going to be launching, you know, obviously on Friday and everything like that. So that's really great. Now, on top of that, they added more fallback spawns to the FOB, which that's even better as well. You know, they have uh, improved safety checking for spawning on squad mates, you know, and, and a ton of different things when it comes down to it for Ground War. Now, in terms of things for low health visuals, you know, it now brightens up in the middle of the screen instead of, like, darkening. There's a lot of weapon balancing that actually took place in this game as well, guys. You know, in general, you know, a ton of weapons received, you know, a lot of balancing, a lot of, you know, positives, negatives when it comes down to it. Most notably, shotguns and pistols. You know, when it comes down to it, you know, uh, enemy claymores now have larger visible lasers, which I think is going to be really great for those who like to play more defensively and so forth. And then as well, guys, like reviving a teammate near a friendly claymore could cause uh, the claymore to explode, which, you know, it, it's nice that they're kind of fixing that and everything. The minimap, they finally now have a minimap on by default across core multiplayer and ground war. Enemy firing does not show up on the minimap, however, unless the UAV is active. And the map zoom is pulled out a bit to help with player awareness, which I think is really going to help when it comes down to it. Now, some of the kill streak things, you know, is first off, the veto jet has been adjusted not to target players to rooftops. This could or could not be a good thing. I personally. I'm going to wait till I actually get my hands on a VTOL jet in order to figure that out. They fixed something for the Juggernaut suit not spawning out of a crate, which I think is really great. After using the cruise missile, one of the things is that they were stuck in like a lean after using the streak. You know, when it comes down to it on Xbox, there was apparently a ton of string tearing on characters and weapon models. So it's nice that they actually, you know, did help try to fix this and everything. There was some impact damage for lethals and tacticals. And, you know, a couple of different things here and there. And then as well, guys, for PC, you know, they actually did fix a couple things for PC. First off, they added HDR support, which is awesome. They added depth of field option in the graphics section. They have a ping widget. You know, they fixed blurriness in various situations. You know, they really fixed the ADS sensitivity on a couple things when using KBM. They also have smoothed out, you know, the for high FPS usage. Crone, uh, crouch and prone transition animations and there's a ton of other things such as like global performance improvement and you know fixes and just a lot of things that i think are really awesome when it comes down to it for this brand new you know game this new update right out of the gate you know again like it's thursday at five o'clock at the time of this recording and literally they are already putting out updates when it comes down to it so it's really really awesome to see infinity word doing these types of things when it comes down to it. And also, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you guys did, please make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. Again, turn on post notifications so you guys can stay up to date with the best and latest Modern Warfare content when it comes down to it. On top of that, guys, 
I have a ton of best class setups, a bunch of tips and tricks videos coming up. Hopefully you guys saw my last video, which is how to rank up faster in Modern Warfare and, you know, everything like that. So with that being said, guys, my name is Tristan Ortiz, and I'll see all of you guys in the next one.